You guys, this looks like a fun one. It's another Katrina Ag puzzle. And it's day four of our Ag Vent calendar. We're gonna do 31 Katrina Ag puzzles in 31 days. So far, we're still on pace on day four. So for this one, there are two circles with a radius four and two squares, and it wants to know what's the shaded area, which is the area of this square here. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. Since we're trying to solve for this square, let's give it side lengths of X. And that means that the area of this square, the shaded area, will be equal to x squared. And this will be the answer to our question, so let's put a box around it. And let's move it down here. Next, let's focus on the top of the larger square. If we line up with the center of this circle and drop this line here, this piece is the same length as the radius of 4, and this piece is the same length as the radius of 4. So one side of our larger square will be x plus 4 plus 4. And we could do the same thing for the left-hand side. If we draw this line right here, parallel with the base, that'll cut it so that this will be equal to the radius of four, and this will be equal to the radius of four. So once again, the side of the square is x plus four plus four. Now let's go to this side. This portion right here will be equal to four because it's a radius of the circle, and this portion will be equal to four. That means that this last piece from here to here has to be equal to x because the side length is x plus four plus four. And then on bottom, let's draw this down from the center. This piece would be 4, and this piece would be 4. And that leaves x for that piece. So now we can verify our square. Every side is x plus 4 plus 4. Now for the next step, let's draw this right triangle inside of here. The height of our right triangle will be the same thing as this right here, so it'll be equal to x. And the base of our triangle will be the same thing as this right here, so it'll be equal to x. And then the hypotenuse is going to be made up of this radius, which is 4, plus this radius, which is 4. So the whole thing's going to be equal to 8. And now let's focus on that triangle. It's a right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem. It'll be x squared plus x squared is equal to 8 squared. And if we bring everything back, x squared, that was the area of our shaded square. So all we have to do is solve for x squared. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared and eight squared is equal to 64. And after we divide both sides by two, we get x squared is equal to 32. And x squared is what we we're trying to solve for. Let's change this x squared into a 32. Let's make some room for a label and there's no units mentioned, so we'll just put units squared. And this is the answer to our question. The shaded area is 32 units squared. How exciting. This was day four of our advent calendar. This one is gonna be day five. It says, how far apart are the corners of these two regular hexagons? So they're both hexagons. They're different sizes, and it wants to know how far apart are these. I guess we'll find out tomorrow how that works. Give me one second. Okay, I know what's going to happen. So tomorrow's going to be fun. How exciting.